Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hayden Dalton signed with the Vito Olympia a few days ago and there were some requests that I should make a report on him next, so here you have it. Hayden is not a player that we stand up statistically, but he will do some things on the court that you can't see in the box score. As usual, let's start with his shot from distance. Hayden is a great shooter for his position and has a high shot release that is not blocked easily. His mechanics looks fine and he can sink some shots even from a few feet behind the 3 point line. Most of his 3 point shots are coming from the top as a catch and shoot shots and he is pretty efficient in those situations. He's not really a player that would create shots for himself and needs someone to feed him the ball. Hayden has limited one-on-one -on -one skills on perimeter and mostly struggles to be the defender and get to the rim from a standstill position, but he is way better at attacking close-ups or in catch and drives. He reads the defense very well and if he sees that he has some kind of advantage, he knows how to use it and get to the rim. With his length and athleticism, he can go for different finishes at the rim, even try some poster dunks. Sometimes, when Hayden sees that he has some height advantage, he tries to put his defender on his back and attack from the post. He is not that easy to defend on post-ups because of his mobility and ability to make some fadeaway shots. He is capable of creating a nice position for himself on the low post while also showing some good court vision and feel for the game when dishing some assists to open teammates. An area where Hayden is really good at is his off-ball movement and cutting. He follows the game well and has great timing for cuts. Most forwards that are defending him are not that mobile and quick and he uses that to his advantage to get some separation. Moves well in all directions and can cut for easy dunks or layups at the rim and also is able to use the screen to get some separation for an open shot from distance. His athleticism and fluidity can also be seen in transition. He is capable of pushing the ball forward after grabbing a rebound or getting a steal, which both are two big strengths from Hayden. Sometimes he can surprise the defense with an early shot too, but those shots look too wild in my opinion. Likes to run without the ball too, and he was an important piece in Nimburg's transition offense last season, and I'm sure that he will also be a great player in transition in Sudevita Olympia. Moving on to his defensive game, one of his main strengths is definitely his versatility. With his length and athletic tools, he is capable of defending basically all positions. On perimeter, for example, he has shown that he can slide his feet well, has good lateral movements and reaction, and in pick and rolls he is able to switch on smaller players. He is also able to defend some bigs on low post, but lack of physicality is obvious and can be moved around pretty easily. He tries to compete and he's usually not making any unnecessary fouls and also stands still and contest shots at the rim. Off-ball defense needs some improvements. There were too many possessions when he lost sight of his man and let him cut to the rim or get a big advantage. Needs to be more aware of that and make smarter reads. Also when guarding a stretch big, he should be closer to him and not leave him so much space for open shots. Rebounding is one of his main strengths. He has a great feel where the ball is going and with his high reach and athleticism he can compete in rebounding with taller guys too. And as mentioned before, he loves to push forward after grabbing a rebound, showing some good feel for rebounds on the offensive end too and actively going for those no one's balls. Hayden is showing some good anticipation for steals. With his long arms he can make some deflections or interceptions that lead to easy points in transition. Usually making smart decisions when it's wise to go for a steal, but sometimes he could be a little more aggressive. Also showing good instincts for blocking shots around the rim. To sum up, Hayden Dalton is offensively a smart off-ball player with limited on-ball skills. He can stretch the floor and make open shots, while also has great feel for cuts, so defense needs to keep an eye on him. He won't be the top scorer in the team, but he will bring some points to the table, especially in a fast-paced transition game. Defensively, he can cover a lot of ground and defend multiple positions, but he just needs to be a little more focused and don't let his man be left so open. He will bring some energy to the team and he is not scared to get his hands dirty or die for loose balls. 
It's hard to say if he is a good fit for this team because most of the roster spots are still free and a lot will depend on his teammates, but I don't think he will be one of the top players in the team, but more like one of the most important role players. And this is it for this time. If you liked the video, smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you miss any previous reports, there is a playlist on the screen now and you can check them out. See you in the next video.